beautiful day for hike. Lots of clouds. It's been raining for about oh last 36 hours or more. We'll go give a fire starting a good try. I'm gonna try some different techniques. Looks like plenty of fog. Might have a change in weather here. Kind of trudging on down the road. I don't think that's the best spot. We're looking for some more dry. We might head up this ridge here. Plenty of moisture in the trees. Should be fun to build a fire. See some, had enough rain across the valley there to pull all the snow off of the hillside. So that encouraged me with a little bit of effort, I'll be able to find a good spot to build a fire where I won't have to build it on the snow. Just don't feel like hiking through that ravine to get there. Back around this logging property. Down the trail, or road I guess. So I'm headed down it, but I see down getting in the kind of the damp under undergrowth. Don't need to be in a bunch of damp area trying to build a fire. And I'll kind of push on until I get up. Oh look at that. I think I'll push on until I get up to a Higher ridge. Always wear your gators, boys and girls. Let's see. So, made it to the top of something here. Got some, well, you'll see. Um, 15 pounds of extra fat from winter is not helping me hike, so you gotta breathe. But I've been, uh, the day's been actually improving, not getting worse. Looks like we got some blue sky out there. I've been coming across quite a bit of this logging slash, as you can see, but I'm going to reject that for for fire starting. Way too much. I love being in uh, logging property, forestry property, and come across a middle of the skid trail and boom, shelter. So anyway, we'll see what I find. Don't need to run into any squatters and try to tell them why I'm building a fire. So I think I'll head down this ridge just a little bit. I like how that looks pretty well blown off and even on the backside I'll find some shelter and some good dry wood. Or at least somewhat dry. barren. It's a problem with logging property. Just not a lot of dead stuff left because they took all the tamarack and there's not really standing dead now. It's all laying flat. Well, I'd say in general this describes a pretty sad problem I'm probably going to have in this ridge. Looks like that windstorm this fall shoved everything over, and if these green ones went, I'm sure all the dead ones like that, little baby there, are already all shoved over and wet. I'm kind of glad though to see we got some nice big granite chips. I'll probably snag one of those to build my fire on, keep a lot of the ground moisture out. Still on the lookout for some decent wood to make this worthwhile. There's a couple snags up that way, but I don't really feel like cutting through an inch snag right now, so laziness may or may not pay off. Well, uh, at this point I'm kind of concerned it might get dark before I even find enough wood to get this thing going. I'd like to try at least two different uh, sort of survival methods for starting the fire. So I think I'm going to have to give up on the standing dead tamarack. And uh, got a little bit of uh, good deadfalls here. These branches sticking up here, 
a little bit encouraging. Might be able to find just enough to, oof, maybe get it going. A lot of squaw wood, but it's been, like I said, raining hard for quite a while. We'll see if I can scrape together enough dry stuff to to get it going. Have to trim off all the. Definitely gonna have to trim off all of the wet outside. So it'll be a little bit of work, but it should be rewarding if I can get it to go. Not a very encouraging start. Okay, um, moving kind of quick here. Had to haul up one of those uh, pieces of rock to work on. So, we got some rock to work on. Got a log. The wind's coming this direction now, so I don't know. Kind of scratched the idea of that rock you can't see anymore, but it's getting dark really, really fast now. Um, so I know I better hurry. So I'm really dubious about the wood being dry. But we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna hack this stuff up, get the wet stuff off. I think because of the daylight, we're gonna also scrap the uh, cotton ball soaked in Vaseline idea. We're gonna go for the fat wood or the resin soaked wood. Uh, give that a shot. That'll give me at least a good start in case it's at least dry enough to go. So we'll see what we got here.
Okay. So I'm sure you can see I'm running low on daylight. So I'm starting to scrap the the whole idea of getting much going with the camera being able to see it. So I got my flint here and I got my piece of fat wood. Hopefully that's lit up somewhat in the light. So we'll use this in a second. But first we're gonna make ourselves a pile of tinder. Decent size as I can get. I can find something somewhat dry. Some almost match size pieces here. A couple of these and even smaller pieces. Or not. I really like to see these split for. And see. Oh, and throw it right in the dirt. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. Okay, here's this. I think we're going to try to use half of it. Okay, got my fat wood. Still that there. Get this thing ready. I use this for my striker because I'm lazy. We'll try to build right on top of this sucker. Okay, well, as you can see, it's dark. Um, my hair's not cool. Gotta have cool hair, right? So, the fire's going. The fat wood basically was the, probably the only way it got started. Let's see, we'll look at it, how it's doing in a minute here. Um, but yeah, it's definitely dark out. And I would say time and light are a good idea for the camera at least. I could have lasted quite a bit longer obviously with the headlamp. But I'll uh, shut up and show you how the fire's doing. Looks like it's not quite as dry as we'd hoped, but it is what it is.
Yeah, it's really not burning that great. Well, I didn't want to have to show you this, but basically the wind blows it out and I restack it and change the, the wind block. Got some white can see in there, a couple logs. And the wind just comes back by it and changes direction and blows it out again. I can sort of I can obviously huff it back to life. So I believe the problem here is the wood was not amazingly dry. Um, I needed a probably a pile of match sized pieces of tinder. Uh, I had some okay kindling. As you can see, it's a nice pile of kindling there. And I mean, it's dry enough. It's, well, it'll show up in the video at the dark here, but I mean, the wood's charring out pretty good. But I needed a whole bunch more uh, tinder to really keep a base because on that rock, it just, you know, it sucks the heat right out of it and there's nowhere for it to kind of keep that coal. So as soon as the wind decides to come by, it'll blow it out and probably, I don't know, four seconds, it'll blow this thing flat out. Well, maybe not now. Maybe it's really going good. Maybe it was success. Maybe it wasn't. Who knows? It was fun.